Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, it's going to be all about Jest. What is Jest's role in testing? What is it doing for us? And how can we use it to write things like assertions to actually get our code checking to see if it works, right? So this video, again, is all about Jest. So let's get started and learn a little bit about Jest right now. Okay, so now that we have our fake test in here, let's go ahead and talk a lot about Jest. Let's head to jestjs.io. Now, Jest is a test runner and a little bit more than that made by Facebook itself. And Jest is very exciting for a handful of reasons of which we'll get into. However, one of the best parts about Jest is really just how fast it runs. It runs your testing extremely quickly and it does it all in parallel. So if you have a ton of tests, it's going to run them all, right? Rather than one, then the other, and then the other, and then the other. And it overall, like I said, it just... It just feels very nice to use. And so it's, it's no surprise that Jest has sort of taken over the JavaScript testing world, one of which that has long been since dominated by things like Mocha and Chai. Now, other testing libraries such as Mocha, well, they are great. They work very well, but they're missing a lot of the features and some of the ease of use that Jest does. So uh, even though I personally used Mocha for a long time, I have completely moved to Jest now. And if you're doing any sort of testing, not just React, uh, I think Jest JS is the way to go. So you can see the current version is 23.3. That's what we'll be using in this series. And as you can see here, nothing too crazy. So let's talk a little bit about what is involved here, because I mentioned that Jest is a test runner, as in it's the thing that goes and runs your tests. Well, when we run the Jest command or the uh, npm test command that runs Jest hyphen hyphen watch all, what it's doing is it's going off and finding any sort of file we have in our system with a dot test dot js, and it's going to run the tests inside of that file. For instance, you'll remember we wrote test, fake test, expect true to be truthy. If we were to just briefly double uh, duplicate this and we can say fake to save this, head to our command line, you can see that is now two separate tests in one file. So we can see that this file gets a pass and both of these tests get a checkbox. So each time you're running a test, you can create a new test, right? And therefore, it lets you know if something is correct or not. For instance, if we were to say to be falsy, or even better yet, let's keep this to be truthy and just say expect false to be truthy and save this, we're going to get one green check and we're going to get one red X and we're going to say fake to uh, expected truthy instead received false. Okay, so you can see that Jest has ran this test and determined it to be incorrect and has failed it. And this gives us an idea of what we can do to fix our code. So in this particular example, well, there's something wrong with the test, or at least there's something wrong with this condition here, okay? So what Jest does is Jest not only finds all of our files and runs all of our tests, but it's also the syntax that we use to do that test bit. For instance, the test right here this is just code. Notice how we didn't have to import anything in here. We're not importing test from Jest. Since we're running Jest, uh, it automatically knows that test exists. It also sees that the expect here is going to have a bunch of different methods, such as to be truthy. Now, there's a ton of these different methods, and we're going to talk considerably more about them. But again, what I mentioned in the last video is that this is called an assertion. Okay, in our code, we're going to assert things. We're going to assert that the sky is blue and that your uh, hand has five fingers on it if you have all of your fingers and things like that that you just know to exist about your code. And because of that, anytime something that's not as it seems, just is going to throw an error, okay? So you can see here, if we look at the docs, we have several different things. We have things like describe, require, test, before all, before each, and after all, that sort of thing. Now we're going to get into what all of these are in great detail here, but this is really what Jest provides. It runs the tests for us. It gives us the ability to actually write our assertions. So it's an assertion library as well. So it's a test runner and an assertion library. And it does things like mocking and faking functions. Uh, you'll see this word mocks a lot. Now, 
I, I mentioned that I'm going to describe a lot of what these words are, these jargony sort of words, and around the word mock is a whole lot of different stuff. We're going to have a video explaining all of the different things around mocks, fakes, stubs, and all that sort of jargony stuff. All you need to know right now is a mock is a fake something. It's either fake data or fake function that something you might not have access to, but it's fake. Okay. And the reason why you might want to use fake information is for faster tests, more, more tests that are, are smaller into smaller chunks. So you're not testing larger things, or maybe it's just there to, so you don't have to go off and do an actual API call or something like that. Again, a mock is just something that is going to be fake. Now there's a little bit more distinction in there, but obviously that's something we're going to want to get into when we talk a little bit more about mocking specifically. So just does those things for us. Now it also does something called snapshotting where it could take a snapshot of our code results directly. In some cases in a react component, it could be the actual Dom output and it could check to see if that snapshot is automatically equal to what we had there. Now we will talk in great length about snapshot testing and the pros and cons and when you should use it. Snapshot testing is a great way to write some easy tests, but a lot of people like to use it as sort of the only testing solution. I'm going to sort of uh, talk about why in later episodes, maybe you shouldn't do that, right? So we'll be primarily writing manual tests in this, although we will be talking about snapshots as well. So that is the primary function of Jest. We can expect things to be true, as in we have our assertions, we can run our tests, we can create fake functions, and we can even create snapshots of our code. Okay, so that's the primary reason why we're going to be using Jest for this course. And as you can see here, if we change this true, expect to true to be truthy, come back and instantaneously, what, three milliseconds in total, our tests have all passed. Uh, so this is great. Uh, in addition, you'll see this little interface here. If we do press W to see more, you can see that just gives us a ton of options. Many of these other test runners like Mocha, it's just either your tests are watching or they're not. With Jest, we get the ability to only run the failed tests, only run tests related to change files, um, filter by regex, filter test name by regex, or to quit watch mode entirely. Again, this stuff is awesome. Just some of the reasons why people love Jest, okay? You'll often hear people talking about how much they love it. These are really the reasons why. It gives you lots of features, it's easy to use, and it's fast. So what we're going to be doing in the next video is running through some basic testing where we're going to test some JavaScript code. Again, not React just yet. Basic JavaScript code. We're going to test that. We're going to sort of figure out what exactly we can assert, like right? what we can put in our assertions and just sort of uh, some cool stuff. And from there, we're actually going to move on to some of the more technical terms. I, I mentioned that I'm going to be talking a little bit about mocks and, and that sort of thing. So we'll talk a little bit about mocks. And then we're going to get into some React. And we're going to do some basic React testing. We're going to do some test-driven development. We're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk about unit testing, integration testing. Again, this is going to be all-encompassing. I hope you learn a ton of stuff. And I hope you're able to test your applications because it is so important. So fire up the next video as we write our first JavaScript tests using Jest.